Well guys, it's the holiday season and you know what that means. Uh, for our new car, we have a brand new update. Uh, this is the Tesla holiday update for 2019. Uh, with that comes a lot of new features. Uh, so even though we've only had this car for about a week, uh, we have tons of new features to show you all. Um, and let's go ahead and dive into that. Alrighty, so after you update your Model 3 to the holiday update, uh, the first time you get in the car, uh, this screen is going to come up. It's going to say what's new in this update. Um, and this is going to detail pretty much everything that is new in the holiday update, which is actually quite a bit. And all of which is new and interesting to us having had this car for only about a week. Because frankly, there's nothing at this point where you just get in yeah. your car <laughs> and have new features just like yeah. your cell phone. Because it is uh, basically identical to your cell phone. It just comes on the app, says you've got an update, you install it takes 25 minutes you hop back in your car and it does different stuff so alrighty guys so probably the biggest uh, change for this holiday update uh, is the full self-driving um, visualization uh, that is now offered on all of the models um, in this update so all you have to do to turn it on is go to the autopilot menu and then it's right here at the top it says full self-driving visualization preview and you might be uh, well, it actually will explain to you what it is going to turn on. Um, so this will actually show uh, traffic lights, it will show stop signs, um, as well as visualizations of like the uh, road in front of you. So like it reads the, um, the markers on the lanes. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that and see how it uh, works in real life. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And let's see what so it So basically like. what's happening here is it's just showing you its smarts. Yeah. <laughs> and how it's building up to the full self-driving ability, which is coming, you know, eventually, maybe next year, for instance. And as you can see, that does work even if you don't have the full autopilot suite. Yes. Because remember, this is the standard range model, which is the lowest one. It doesn't have the entire autopilot suite. It does have some of the features, though, and that's one of them. So let's go ahead and take it out. Okay. And there's a stop sign right up here. As you can see, it does already come on the screen with the lane markings. Okay, and we are approaching a red light, so let's see if it can get this. Okay, there it is. It does actually have it. We're quite far from the red light, which, you know, so this is actually pretty impressive. Um, and as you can see, it actually has all three of the lights. Um, so, and they're red, and it will actually turn red and green. Um, this is not meant to replace actually looking at the red lights, um, but it is quite neat that you do have that function. Uh, it even gives you red and green uh, differences here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's a green turn arrow here, and it, even, it turned green on here. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah. As you can see, we're about to head up under the light. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. Um, it actually does have the ability to find objects like a trash can. So as you can see, I'm pulling up to the curb here and there are three trash cans right over here. Um, and as you can see, it has all three of the trash cans um, on the screen, which is absolutely crazy. I have no idea how this car knows that. Um, I mean, I have to say, though, I'm a little disappointed. It ought to say recycling bin and garbage <laughs> bin. <laughs> um, but I do want to get into the heart of really the better features uh, with this update, and that is going to be your uh, phone integration. That is a huge thing with this update since Tesla really didn't have that before. Um, so I'm going to have uh, Drew send me a text message real fast, and we'll see how it operates here on the screen. the message right now and as you can see there it is um, it went ahead and actually sent a notification it chimes. Drew says yo okay and the big thing with this is that I can just tap the voice command button and reply hey what's up and there you go it works completely fluid uh, as you can see, that was a very, very simple process. So Tesla went from one of the uh, worst, it had basically no integration uh, with the text messaging. Yeah, let's just be clear, like we've only had this car for a week and as advanced, to, as advanced as everything else is, I was surprised to say the least about how 
kind of behind. There was no text message support like you like you were just discussing. Um, but really no voice commands. Everything I tried that works in a lot of other cars um, did fail. So just keep that in mind um, as we talk about these changes because they are meaningful if you notice them already in just the first few days of ownership. And here's a few more of the things that the voice commands can do. Uh, it doesn't just uh, limit itself to phone integration. Um, so I can actually do really cool stuff like adjust the climate um, with the, just my voice command. So you just tap this little scroll bar right here. Set the climate on 75 degrees. Okay, I'll try again. What was it again? Set it. <laughs> <laughs> Set. What is it? Okay. Set. Now, it, do, it is supposed to have more natural language <laughs> recognition, but you're already seeing the limits to this. Um, there is still, you still have to say somewhat specific about what you want uh, within the bounds of what they say. <laughs> So, you know, be aware that these are things that get updated over time, and that is clear um, in this release. It does talk about that. It's uh, the things that it fails, it sends for them yeah. to recognize and work on later on. So we're helping them develop a better <laughs> version coming up soon because Mason cannot remember the correct phrase to say. What is the correct phrase? Let's go ahead and get this. Make the sure phrase it's right. that he's, the, they released and said is set the temperature to... Okay. Set the temperature to 75 degrees. Okay, Yay. and there it goes. Successful. Okay. Now, it can also do cool stuff. Um, one of the you know coolest things that I think is useful is to open the glove box. Open the glove box. Um, so, open the glove box. Now that is very handy because I found myself any time that, you know, I wanted to open the glove box. <laughs> the whole thing spilling Burger King coupons. So any time that I wanted to get to my Burger King coupons, I had to go in the settings and it took me a little bit. I mean, it's, I know it's not super hard, but I had to think about what I needed to do. Because there is no button. Yeah, there is no button. So I really, you know, I appreciate just the voice command is now a feature. The same also applies for the uh, steering wheel and mirrors because this is, um, you know, it takes some getting used to because there's no physical buttons once again. So you can say adjust the steering wheel, adjust the mirrors, you know, go ahead and activate it where you can use the scroll wheel yep. and make the adjustments. Now, another new feature for this new update is uh, something called camp mode, which will basically allow the car to keep the climate on for an extended amount of time. I don't see that I'll use that too much, but maybe uh, the new Cybertruck owners will end up using that. Um, and another thing is that Twitch is now included in the entertainment menu. There's theater mode, and as you can see, uh, Twitch has now been added to the currently Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube menus, so you just tap in there. And you will see all of your typical Twitch stuff for those of you who are gamers. Um, this will actually be very handy for you guys. Now, another good news for you guys that uh, like games is that Tesla has added two new games for this holiday update. Uh, so in the arcade, uh, your two new games are Stardew Valley um, and Black Gammon, or Back Gammon. So let's go ahead and play Stardew Valley. Okay. Oh, so this this basically is a farming game. Um, so name your thing, the favorite thing. So let's do car confections here. I love the sound effects. Okay. Okay, let's play. Looks like pretty good napping material <laughs> <laughs> if you want something to rock you to sleep while you're supercharging. I don't want to go to sleep yet, so let me walk. Oh, look, so I can walk around. Let's open the toy box. Parnip seeds. 
parsnip seeds. So what this looks like to me is basically like um, Farmville or whatever that is, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and play backgammon. Okay, so let's play the driver against Tesla. To be honest with you guys, I've never played this before, so if you know how to play this, let me know in the, the description, but uh, I don't know. I, you know, I move... <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but, you know, uh, for those of you, you know, who may have played this game before, I'm sure it'll be fun for you to do. Now, the last feature that I do want to talk about is the dash cam save on honk uh, function. This is actually a pretty unique feature um, because, you know, you do, of course, have the dash cam footage, but you have to remember to save it. Um, and now if you honk the horn, it will just automatically save those clips. Um, so you just toggle that on. And if I honk the horn here, it's gonna save uh, the dash cam footage from prior to as well as probably a little bit after um, so that you will have those clips for future reference. But anyways, guys, that's it for the 2019 holiday update changes. Um, like I said, we're really just getting to know the first version of the system. And now we already have some brand new features, but that is the joy of Tesla ownership and a little Christmas gift from Tesla. Um, now, of course, we do have more traditional, regular content, um, you know, with things like, for instance, why we chose the Model 3. Anyways, um, so those videos will be coming up later on. Um, but for now, thanks for tuning in to this um, 2019 update.